Hey, it's Lucas here, 1194 Video. I got my dad's car here. It's been a while since I posted, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what all he's got done since I posted last. He's got my condenser and radiator out of my car in there, which I'm still thinking he should give that back to me. <laughs> he's changed this over. He's got this real pretty, which he thinks is real pretty, ugly, pretty ugly blowfish tube right here. But he's got it all hooked up, got the motor in it. And for those doing this, this kind of swap, you can kind of get an idea how close he's got it. It's real, real close. These are actually the stock manifolds for the 5.0. And he had to cut them, cut them and angle them where they wouldn't hit the frame rails. And right there's the mount that he's made from the Mustang 2 up to the 4.6 style motor mounts. And then in order to utilize the, the front electric steering, that's how he's made the brackets to put that electric power assist steering onto that car, on the K-member. And this one you've already seen through my previous videos that it's got the, all the dash components out of the, I believe this one is a 2012 uh, in this one. Now this is, a, this is a 67 car, but the floor pan was cut out of a 2011 as well and the rear has been welded up and on these cars on the fuel tank system on these cars you actually have two sending units and you have a tube that pulls the fuel from that one to this one now these right here can be complicated if you're going to swap out everything and use the factory dash because your fuel gauge there's no way wiring this that it's going to work through one pump so this one measures from half a tank to empty, and this one measures from full tank to half tank. So you've gotta have those, and that's how he's modified that tank to utilize that. And you can see in the rear, he's installed the link, link system kit with cool overs. And on this one, you see we got the 5.0 Coyote shock tire has been deleted. Over here on this one, you've got a 5.0 push rod style. You still have your shock towers. So this one right here, it's, it's a whole lot quieter cranking it than this one right here. This one's pretty loud, it needs resonators. But that you can see, you know, you got your original dash. This one's gonna be an original Fastback Mustang, this one's gonna be the Coyote Swap Fastback Mustang. You just saw the 5 Coyote and this car out here. Well now, we're gonna go ahead and fast forward it to the paint process. Okay, you just saw it with it all in black primer, some stuff still fiberglass. Well, since then, there's been a lot of work done on this car. It's still far from complete. Working on the grill right now, getting all that in, dad's straightening all the grill out. This be painted to match the car, it'd probably be black while the style interior being stock style. Now this right here, you got your 5.0 push rod engine. In this car, as you just saw, you have your Coyote. So, both cars will look alike. It'll just be old style push rod, new style Coyote. All right, well that's gonna be it for this video. Just a quick video showing you my dad's cars over here and what's been done to them. Uh, I'm gonna get back to my garage, start doing some work on the wife's 55 Ford. 
But until next time, hit that subscribe and like button, and I'll see you on the next video.